How's it going ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Donahue here again. This time we're going to take a look at a, uh, a quick little tutorial on how to use the virtual comparison microscope that I, uh, that I threw together. So objectives will be to learn how to use this virtual comparison microscope for comparing two images side by side to see if evidentiary marks are consistent between the two samples. All right, so what is a virtual comparison microscope? Well, let's talk about comparison microscopes. They let you simultaneously examine two samples to see if evidentiary marks are consistent between those two samples. Uh, this would indicate a common source for both of those things. For example, if you had uh, firearm identification you needed to accomplish, if there was a cartridge case found at a crime scene and you recovered a suspect weapon that you think might have been used at the crime scene, you could compare the marks uh, from the crime scene evidence as well from like test fired ones from the suspected weapon. Uh, you could do the same kind of thing with the tool mark impressions, see if those evidentiary marks line up. So the virtual comparison microscope will allow you to simul uh, simulate this tool by using images instead of the actual samples. So basically you'll just manipulate a picture instead of the actual thing. Uh, you'll be able to move, rotate, zoom uh, the images independently as well as together. So this is what it's basically gonna look like and you can see there's a choose file button on the left and on the right side so you can choose what images you're trying to compare side by side. So let's talk about the controls. You're gonna be controlling this virtual comparison microscope using your keyboard. So uh, here's a keyboard, right? So two images, to control them independently, uh, to use the left images and you wanna move them, you're gonna use the WASD keys to move it up left down right just like that right so those keys control the left image uh, if you hold down shift you will make larger movements i think it's programmed right now so if you press just the key stroke once it moves it one pixel but if you hold down shift it's either five or ten pixels so you get much bigger move increments if you hold down shift for the right image you're going to use the i j k l keys in the same fashion and holding shift does the same thing for that if you want to use uh, if you want to move both of them together uh, at the same time, you will use the TFGH keys, just like that. So same kind of layout, those are the keys you're going to use. So you can also uh, rotate the images, you know, especially this is going to be helpful with like cartridge cases, which you have to figure out what the correct orientation is in, before you compare it. So the, uh, the Q and E keys will rotate it for the left image the U and O keys for the right image and the R and Y keys for both of them together, right? And then you can also zoom in on the images using these keys as, as you see, Z and X for the left image, N and M for the right image and V and B for both of them together. Um, again, if you hold down shift for any of these movements, either rotations or zooms or up, down, left, right, you will get a bigger change. So let's check it out. So let me jump to this locally run virtual comparison microscope. And you can see there's images already loaded, but I could choose file and say, hey, what, what are you looking for? I'm looking for the crime scene cartridge and I'm gonna look for uh, on the second side. You know what, let's do the suspect two cartridge. And there it is. So now if I wanna move the left image, I just use the W, A, S, D to move it around. If I hold down shift, you will get larger movements. Uh, Q and E will rotate it. Again, if you hold down the shift, it'll rotate it more. Uh, and then Z and X for zooming in and out. Uh, I, J, K, L for the same thing on the right side. And then uh, M for the zoom. Um, U and O for the rotate. And then both of them together. Well, let me show you when both of them together is going to be really helpful. So right now I'm looking at the, the firing pin impression made. Uh, towards the top of the cartridge case and I want to see if they could have been made by the same firing pin. So I want to line them up right now. My zoom's a little off so I'm going to zoom in a little bit more on that one. Uh, try to get them to be the same size. Um, and then I'm going to try to line them up. Oh, looks like I got to rotate this one a little bit maybe. And I want to see, you know, maybe right now uh, you can tell, hey, those are a little bit different but if they were similar, you'd want to overlap them some more. And then, all right, I got to, I think, zoom a little bit on this one that way. Ooh, way too much. And then once you get them like kind of lined up, you can move them together to go, hey, do those marks line up? Are they found in the same place? And it looks like these, I would say, are not a match. Uh, 
just because you can see, hey, the firing pin impression, they're different shapes, right? So I do that and you can see the evidence. So yeah, so that's uh, the virtual comparison microscope. Hope you found it helpful. Okay, bye.